Hi everyone, uh, welcome to another uh, Table Talk. Uh, the discussion uh, in this episode is uh, going to be the 2212 5T 2700 uh, KV motor. Uh, very inexpensive motor, available uh, eBay, Banggood, Gearbest, uh, just, just about everywhere you can get them. I've seen them on eBay uh, recently for as cheap as about five dollars uh, US. Um, so in between doing all the uh, testing that I've been doing with the um, you know a lot of different quad racing motors and speed controllers and that sort of stuff I've also been uh, doing some testing uh, off and on with this with this inexpensive motor on some different props and with some different speed controllers and and what I was kind of doing there is you know not everybody uh, wants to or can afford uh, you know these these expensive uh, uh, quad racing motors you know a lot of them the, the better ones that I've been using are you know twenty dollars plus uh, uh, you know, I'm, I'm starting to go broke saving money picking them up on sale. But uh, anyway, we're drawing close to the end of uh, the end of that. So um, when I did the uh, my my most recent uh, uh, set of bench testing, I wrote up a blog article and I titled it, uh, uh, you know, budget power upgrade or buyer beware for this motor. And I guess I would say probably more, uh, you know, the more that I think about it, uh, it's probably one of these situations where just, uh, you know, based on my experience anyways, is just be aware uh, of, of kind of what you're getting into, depending on how you want to run this motor. Um, you definitely, you know, compared to the 2212-6, 2200 kV motor, um, you know, you're going to get a power increase. Uh, there's no doubt there. Uh, you know, I, I see a, a really significant increase with a with the higher KV of it, uh, you know, spooling up quite a bit faster at mid-range, so you get, you do get, uh, uh, regardless of the prop, you do get a better kind of whole shot acceleration and a better punch, and then depending on the prop as well, yeah, you know, you do get uh, some pretty good uh, top end speed. Um, now the thing with, uh, you know, as I've said in my uh, the last flight, most recent flight video, this is actually the motor I was using in that uh, flight video. Um, you know, quality control is not necessarily a strong point of a five to seven dollar motor. Uh, so you know, you might get lucky and and uh, pick one up that's got you know pretty decent bearings in it, good wires, good magnets, and uh, you know maybe it'll run uh, uh, for you for a long time. Uh, I've been running these motors now for almost two years, ever since they first started sort of flooding the market. Um, I have one motor here. I think it's this one right here. This one has uh, about 300 flights on it, and I've run it primarily uh, with the 6x4 APC electric or the, the Hobby King knockoff. Uh, you know, it's run really, really hot uh, most of the time. I've flown it a lot in the summertime, um, and it's I can feel that it's starting to, the bearings, uh, especially the bottom bearing here, is starting to get a little bit uh, rough and ragged. Uh, which tends to, uh, um, you know, make it actually even more amp hungry, which then drives up the heat, and uh, you know, you get to a certain point. Uh, I know it's very hard to see on the camera, but in the um, the blog post uh, where I talked about in the bench testing, I showed a picture of this one and a brand new one up close, and you can tell that the, you know, this this top part here is uh, has definitely faded and has changed color. Uh, sometimes what will also happen is if they've run really, really hot is the ink on the little sticker here will actually uh, just, you know, it'll just go away. So, um, you know, when you pick one of these things up, uh, I don't have all the goodies on it, but you do get the X mount with them. Um, you do get a, uh, you know, the prop adapter similar to the one that I have on this one. Now, what I will say is, so you'll need to provide your own uh, bullet connectors, you know, uh, most, most people use three and a half millimeter bullet connectors. But uh, you know, if you're buying those, normally you're buying them in in, uh, in match sets, so male and female. And most speed controllers, you have to put the female one on the speed controller end, so you just you know save the the male ones, obviously, and, and put it on the motor. Um, <clears throat> the uh, the prop adapters that they come with quite often are of not the best quality either. So uh, what I what I found is I I, uh, I buy them from uh, RC Timer. Um, I think they're they're about a buck each, but uh, you know, touch touch wood, they've they've worked out really really well. Now, regardless, they're you know they're soft aluminum, so if you do have a crash or a really hard prop strike, or you're reefing down on it really hard, uh, these these metal um, 
uh, the aluminum threaded part will bend. So it's good to have um, for these these 3.17 millimeter shaft motors. It's good to have some spares of those. So I'll have uh, I'll have um, uh, links to those. I think in the post flight report that I wrote when I did the recent uh, field testing, I had links to those. But uh, anyway, I'll link to all those blog posts. So. Yeah, so like I said, you know, um, there it's a it is definitely a power upgrade. It's an inexpensive power upgrade from the uh, the 2212-6-2200. Um, it is, you know, again, you just need to be aware depending on what prop you're going to run with it. Um, I've run, uh, you know, most of the flight prop most of the flights probably 99% now uh, of the flights that I've run with this motor. I've run with the Turnigy Plus 40 amp speed controller. Uh, I've run it the most on the uh, 6x4 EPC electric knockoff. Uh, probably after that, the uh, 6x3 uh, uh, electric sport prop or TGS or KMP, depending on where you buy them from. Uh, this, this prop uh, is probably, if you're looking for long term dur durability and a, uh, or a, uh, longevity out of your motor and uh, good overall performance. Uh, and efficiency, the 6x3 is probably the best overall, uh, you know, being honest with you. That on both the Turnigy Plush and the Turnigy AE, which I've just recently tested uh, this motor with. So this is probably, again, if you're looking for that uh, long-term durability and good power, uh, definitely <clears throat> because of the lower pitch, excuse me, You're definitely going to get the better hole shot and punch out with this because it, you know, it's less pitch and it'll it'll spin up faster. These props are a little bit longer; they're about six and an eighth inch long, and these APC props are normally just slightly less than six inches. So that's that's a good prop. Uh, I've also run it with uh, this is the six by four APC gas uh, with the plush B controller. Uh, ran really really well. Again, it's pulling up in the neighborhood of about 35 amps mid 30 amps uh, so um, you know the motor the motor is coming down pretty warm uh, also ran it in uh, one of my uh, comparison videos recently I also ran it with the 6x4 uh, KMP prop uh, works really well I haven't tested it with the uh, Turnigy AE yet with this prop um, but the, the motors tend to be a little bit more amp hungry I think with the uh, KMP prop but you get you do get uh, really good performance so it's difficult, uh, you know, when you look around, it's very difficult to find, um, again, because they're inexpensive motors, the, there's not a lot of specs and, you know, tech info uh, available on them. Uh, you know, I read recently on one of the eBay vendors that sell these that they say it's a 22 amp motor. Well, unless you're running it, it's, you know, it's rated for 2 to 3S. Uh, unless you're running it on 2-cell or you're running it on 3-cell uh, with like a, you know, a 5 by 3 prop or something like that. Uh, you know, 22 seems really, really low. Um, I would say it's probably realistically more in the neighborhood of maybe a 30. Uh, I've run it a lot up to 35 amps and, uh, you know, that's where, uh, you know, you're going to get a, you're going to get a lot of fun out of it for a while, but uh, you know, maybe I got lucky with the one motor where I had 300 flights. Maybe you won't get as many, but you know, you can run it with the with the six x four prop. Uh, I think, uh, from what I saw in my most recent testing, the best performance if you're going to run it with the six x four electric prop is uh, and the six x three uh, electric sport prop is the uh, Turnigy AE45. Uh, Work really really well with that. Uh, bench test results not so good with the 6x4 EPC gas. If you have a Turnigy Plush uh, 40 amp speed controller, just on factory default settings, uh, again had uh, really really good uh, flight performance with the 6x4 EPC and the 6x4 uh, KMP. Uh, again, it's uh, you know pushing the motor uh, fairly hard. So. Um, I got lucky. Uh, the ones, all the ones that I've bought from Gearbest. Uh, I think this one that I've just about worn out now. I think I got that originally from Gearbest. Um, so you know, at that time, I think I paid around six dollars for it. Their price has gone up uh, in the last couple of years since I first bought it. Uh, you know, 300 flights. Maybe that's not. You know, maybe that's not suitable for you. I, you know, I've certainly uh, had my fun with it. Maybe you want uh, a little bit more. So. 
Again, uh, I think your, your best bet is this 6x3 electric sport prop. Um, but again, you can experiment with it. Um, you know, the only way to really know is, you know, kind of uh, feel the, touch the motor after it comes down uh, and then just keep an eye on it physically. Uh, the bottom bearings in most of them that I've run are all, they're pretty cheap. It's where the, they really cheap out on the, uh, on the construction of the motors. So what you'll find is that, you know, you might touch the bell here and it feels a little bit warm and then you put your finger down here on this uh, on this base and it's like ooh guy caramba it's uh, you know it can be really hot um, because you'll get a lot of build up the bearing race <clears throat> that's sort of right here well you know you'll have a lot of heat build up in there uh, and then you you know if you start uh, after a dozen flights it comes down and the ink is melted off of your sticker here or you've noticed that the wiring on the inside this is a brand new one so the wire the wires are still nice and shiny on some of the ones that I've been running pretty hard over uh, the years, you'll also start to see that the, mo the wires in the motor will really start to darken. So uh, just keep an eye on that uh, as well. Um, and then maybe if that's happening, then you know you need to prop down to uh, to a six by three uh, uh, sport prop. Uh, so yeah, so there we go, folks. Um, yeah, I think uh, you know as I've said before, I think it is uh, you know definitely an upgrade in power. Uh, even with the uh, 6x3 EMP compared to uh, the best the best settings uh, that I've seen with the 2212 2200 uh, better mid-range power better hole shot and acceleration and uh, you know better better top end um, thrust uh, you know as long as you've got the right uh, settings with this uh, Turnigy AE45 um, you know the the uh, you need to have custom settings for it to run the best, the factory default settings. It, it doesn't. Uh, you, if you want something where you can just stick it in, plug and play with this motor, uh, you're better off to go with like a Turnigy Plush. Um, but you can, you know, save yourself a couple bucks. Go with the Turnigy AE45. The custom settings that I was running in the last flight testing with this was uh, 22 and a half degrees on the timing and uh, 24 kilohertz on the pulse width, mo pulse width modulation frequency worked really, really well. So again, uh, going, you know, if you're talking about power on a budget, uh, I buy these props, these 6x3 props. Uh, I've experimented with ones from Hobby King, the TGS, and the KMP from uh, uh, Banggood, and they're uh, essentially identical to these ones I get from RC Timer. You do have to buy them in, in lots of five, but they work out to be a little bit cheaper. They're about 90 cents uh, American that way um, and then you know you buy five you buy them once and you probably got lots of spares for you know having in your field box or, or different uh, different planes so there's my uh, there's my thoughts again uh, like I said I've been running this motor for about two years um, I've, you know this is the first one here that's really uh, started I this has probably got the most flights on it um, I've got some other ones uh, this this one here I've run I think this has probably got about a hundred flights on it now it's you know it's still running a little strong the bearings the bearings might be starting to loosen up a little bit you know when you when you pull on it you can you can feel a little bit of play in there but it's uh, you know it's running strong so um, there you go you know you get uh, it's it's definitely one of those things where you know I think you get what you pay for uh, but if you're just new into park jets or you don't have a whole lot of money to to spend um, like I said a good a good power setup is uh, this. Turnigy AE45 with the custom settings, uh, 6x3E Sport Prop, or even if you want, you know, if, you, if you've only got the 6x4 APC knockoffs uh, from Hobby King, uh, you can definitely run this one, but again, be a bit more cautious and uh, monitor the, the, the uh, you know, the heat build up in your motor, uh, then you might have to prop down, but, uh, you know, in my the last flight test video, uh, better hole shot acceleration. I didn't really see a whole lot of uh, top end uh, difference, um, but you know this is a good good setup. Uh, this motor for you know five bucks, seven bucks even, uh, twenty one bucks for the speed controller, uh, ninety cents a piece for these props, or these are actually even cheaper. They're like sixty one cents. You buy them from Hobby King, sixty one cents a prop. Definitely uh, a good power upgrade. And if you're first getting into park jets. I just did a video on uh, my midterm review on this uh, speed controller, um, and I'm really, really, really pleased and really, really excited about its performance. This would be a really good uh, recommendation for me so far. 
I haven't tested it in hot weather just as a starter you know because you can throw this into your plane with a 2212 2200 you don't even need to play with it uh, plug and play and then as you start to upgrade uh, you know just change the settings around and you can continue to uh, push uh, you know push the speed envelope on your planes if that's something that you're looking to do without having to spend uh, a whole bunch of money. So, yeah, 2212 5T 2700. Lots of places to get them. Uh, as I mentioned in my flight video, the only bad luck I had with them was about a year or so ago. I picked up a couple from Banggood to try, and I don't know if they were uh, wire, different wires, different magnets, what they were, but they just were unbelievably um, power hungry. But they just the, like the the motor could not handle the amps that it was pulling. They were just coming down smoking, smoking hot so um, yeah just just be something to be aware of depending on where you pick them up from uh, you know you, you may get a dud so maybe don't buy one buy uh, you know buy buy a couple or buy uh, you know one one or two from Gearbest let's say maybe even you know try one from Banggood now maybe they've uh, I'm, I'm sure by now they've got a different production run of them uh, I don't know maybe they all come from the same factory I don't really know uh, and then again, you know, you can get them uh, quite a bit cheaper if you shop around on uh, on eBay. Anyway, so there you go. There's uh, there's my thoughts and experience on the 2212 5T 2700 uh, motor. Uh, good good little park jet motor with the right prop and the right settings and the right speed controller uh, can definitely give you a good uh, power upgrade running on 3S. Uh, I've never tried it on 4S, and I. Um, I know RC Plane Pirate. I'll have uh, a link to his channel. He's he did about three test videos on this motor. Um, I think uh, depending on the prop you're using, anyway, putting it on 4S, uh, you're you're probably going to treat yourself to a bit of a smoke show before uh, too long. It's probably just going to cook the motor. But uh, there we go, folks. Uh, thanks thanks very much for watching. There'll be links to uh, some of my blog posts, and if you you know browse around my YouTube channel. Um, you know, I've got other videos uh, on, on using this motor, testing this motor with different props, different speed controllers. Uh, and again, on my blog posts, uh, several uh, posts there, you can, uh, you can read about it. So thanks very much for watching. Blue skies, calm winds to everyone. Park jet noise, the other sound of freedom, baby. Take care.